A round of fake threats, students, schools and parents in the by state are still coming off a scary high. Yeah, since about 10 o'clock this morning, we've been following the threat that sent Granite City High School into chaos. Illinois State Police tell News 4 tonight that the school is just of at least one of at least a dozen across the state today to get a shooting threat. Now state authorities are trying to find the person behind the swatting. News 4's Dion Broxton continues our coverage tonight from Granite City. Dion, how were students reacting to all of this today? Sam, when students walked out of these doors today, they weren't too shaken up. Some were happy to reunite with their family, but students tell me that these kinds of incidences are becoming very normal for them. They said that these boulders outside of the school were placed here because at one point, someone threatened to drive into the school. Start heading to the high school. I got a caller on the phone advising there's a shooter. That's the call to action cops in Granite City got after students had their own. The principal wanted all of us to lock the doors and we were wondering what was happening. Granite City High School in Coolidge Middle next door immediately went on lockdown because of a school shooting threat. Like my class had a knock on the door and there was about five officers out there. Dozens of local, state and federal authorities quickly cleared the high school and learned it was a hoax. One school district grandparent waited for the good news. We always worry about it. You know? Kids these days, you know, they're don't know, I never know what's going on with them. Police say this appears to be a part of a statewide prank. Nearby districts like Collinsville also received the prank call. When you get these kinds of calls in your mind, is it if it will happen to Granite City or when it will happen to Granite City? That's, that's a hard thing to answer because you, you want to you wanna always say if and, and be optimistic, but you also have to think when. I hope this horrific incident never comes to fruition, but uh, if it Play does, it is my, <laughs> but it is something that uh, we unfortunately are very prepared for. For these students, they say this is becoming their new normal. I wasn't too surprised. It feels like another day. We're not surprised. This year it's becoming normal. Last year, every six Police say they are investigating where this call came from. Now, making a threat against a school in Illinois can lead up to three years in prison and or a $25,000 fine. District officials say that school will resume tomorrow as normal. Live in Granite City, Dion Broxton, News 4. Dion,